Hello, my name is Carlos, and on this video, I'm going to show you the basics of NetSuite SAID searches. In NetSuite, you can create different types of SAID searches. The SAID search that you will probably use the most is the transaction saved search. With the transaction saved search, you will be able to extract information about your NetSuite transactions. You can start creating saved searches by going to reports, saved search, all saved searches and clicking new. You will arrive at this screen and you will see the different options in, term, in terms of saved searches. We click on transaction, we'll arrive at this screen right here. In this video, we will be focused on the criteria, results and available filters subtabs. Let me show you the saved search that I created, created right here. Under the criteria subtab, you will determine the information that you will pull in your safe search. For example, in this safe search, I use the filter type to pull only sales order information or transactions. And I use the status filter to pull pending billing sales orders. And I'm also pulling sales orders with a status of closed. Two, I can I could choose another type of status, uh, cancel or build, for example. And instead of sales orders, I could, I could also have used like uh, purchase orders, for example, invoices or any other type of transaction. Okay. If I go to preview, I will see sales orders under this column, the corresponding status, pending billing or closed, and other useful tips on the criteria is the type of information that I'm pulling in that specific transaction. In this case, I'm not pulling mainline or header level information. By that, I mean, if I go to the sales order, you will see that you will be able to pull summary, summary level uh, information or line level information. In my safe search, I told NetSuite, hey, in terms of mainline, don't give me the mainline, basically. Same thing for these other types of lines. That way I'm making sure that these rows right here in my safe search only cho are showing me the line level information. Go to results. I eliminated a couple of rows here. You can do that by going to the specific row, clicking remove. And if I want to, I can add additional information. I want to see items and I want to see quantity. And I want to see them right above or besides status. Okay. If I go do that and I click preview, I will see quantity and item here. This is another useful thing about not seeing header, header level information or mainline. By seeing line level data, I'm able to see the items and the quantities. I use expression expressions in this criteria. I will be talking about that more in my future videos and also use parents. That is useful when I want to further refine my results. Okay, let's go to available filters. In available filters, I can establish a dynamic filter in my safe search. And by that, I mean, if I go here and I click name and I cl check this box in showing filter region, can go back to my safe search and I can click here, filters, and choose a specific customer. If I do that, I will only be seeing transactions related to that specific customer, okay? And lastly, best practices. Be sure to name 
your safe search in a useful way and add your initials. Okay, in this case, I'm only pulling pending billing or closed sales orders. That's why I named my sales search safe search this way. This is really useful, specifically if I choose to check this box in public. If I check this box, all of my NetSuite users will, will be able to see the safe search. And if I don't name my safe search correctly, then I can create confusion, uh, specifically if your NetSuite account has a lot of safe searches available, okay? Another useful tip, try to filter your information. The less rows you pull, the better performance you will see in your safe search. You can do that by choosing a date here, okay? And that is it. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has enhanced your knowledge on the topic. If you found it useful, subscribe to see future videos. You can also find loads of other accounting software tips at www.fusiontastics.com.